Hey guys, and welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee June and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based near Sydney, Australia. I'm also a content creator and I recently started this YouTube channel to talk about all things freelance, business, social media related, because I love having a chat about all of those things and I felt like I needed a whole new YouTube channel to talk about them on. So in today's video, it's actually gonna be kind of like a quick tutorial and it's going to be how to create trendy text on Instagram. Now, I think it's really hard in particular with Instagram Reels sometimes to get some trendy looking text, especially if you're using the Instagram editor to edit your reels and you're not using an external program like Premiere or DaVinci or Final Cut or anything like that. And for a lot of people, they're not using those programs and it's not always necessary that you do. However, if you are going to use the Instagram editor, there are a few little tricks you can use that can make your text and your fonts a little bit more interesting, a little bit more creative and have more impact overall. So this is just gonna be a quick tutorial video today on how you can do some of those things. So we're gonna jump straight into the video today and I'm gonna get into my first point, which is to use a combination of fonts. I really like spicing things up a little bit on my Instagram reels when I use a couple of different fonts. It it can be hard unless you're like a graphic designer or someone who does this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis to know what looks good together. But I actually find that the two main trending ones that I tend to see all the time are actually two of the last fonts along in the list on Instagram. And I'll actually put them up on the screen so you can see them and see what I'm talking about. But these two fonts in particular are the ones that I use quite often most of the time. And I use a combination of them. So quite often if I've got a couple of lines of text, I'll use one font on the top and one down the bottom. And I've actually experimented with using both of these fonts interchangeably. So putting one of them on the top, one of them on the bottom and then flipping them and they look good either way. So I really like using both of these fonts for that. I think that it can add just that extra level of like professionalism and a little bit of polish to your work as well. Uh, and, and quite often I've seen reels that have used this combination before and I've immediately thought, oh wow, that looks good. And then realize that they actually haven't done that in Premiere. They haven't done it in an external editor. They've done it on Instagram. And it's just little things like that that can really change up the look of your text on Instagram reels. The other tip I'm gonna throw out there as well for number two is to keep the text relatively small. This is a really trending element at the moment when you notice with Instagram reels texts, you'll see that in a lot of the trending reels on Instagram, they'll be quite small with their font or their text. So if you wanna kind of follow that trend, uh, it's definitely something that is becoming more common at the moment to keep those lines of text quite small. Now, what I like to do is actually vary the sizing up on mine a little bit. So potentially if I've got a few lines of text, once again, I'll maybe keep the top line quite small and then I'll make the second line just a little bit bigger or use a slightly bigger font like the other one that I was talking about before, this one here, wherever it is on the screen to actually add that little bit more impact and it draws the reader's eyes down as well. So I really like using that option as well to kind of vary up the text sizes a little bit, but overall keeping it quite small. So with text placement as well, and you can break this rule, I've seen people break this rule and it definitely does work, but I find that more often than not, it's kind of nice to stick to more of a rule of thirds with where the text is lying on the reel. Uh, so you can have it sort of in the top third, the bottom third or in the middle. And I usually find that that's kind of like the best placement for text, but obviously that's really gonna depend on what content you've got in your reel, whether the text is standing out against certain elements that you've got happening in your reel. And essentially wherever the text looks best for your reel is fine. So first of all, excuse the whippets, they're on my bed about 90% of the day. So along with having a combination of fonts and then keeping the text relatively small, you can actually use spacing to create a really cool effect with the text that you use on Instagram reels. Now, the way I like to do this is by adding a space in between each letter and it just kind of gives it that more professional appearance. It just looks a little bit more bougie overall, a little bit more trendy and really changes the appearance of the text a little bit more too. So I definitely recommend trying this out, especially if you've got a couple of lines of text and you want one of those lines to be a little bit less uh, in your face, if that makes sense. It adds a little bit more mystery to that line of text as well. It's a little bit more low key. This really helps with that. But along with using spacing in your text, you can actually use all caps on a certain font that you use on Instagram Reels to create another different effect altogether as well. And once again, the font looks completely different. You've kind of got that slight variation. It gives you another way to give impact to a certain sentence that you might be writing or a particular word that you might want to stand out on your Instagram Reel. So I definitely recommend to use that method as well. But my last tip today on creating some trendy Instagram text is actually to use color variations. So I know that color is not always the favorite way to experiment on Instagram when it comes to text and font, but I've been finding lately that there's a particular color and it seems to be yellow that seems to be standing out really quite a lot amongst Instagram reels. A lot of people are using it and I can see why. 
it actually adds a lot of impact once again to a certain word that you might be trying to highlight in your Instagram reel or a sentence. It actually stands out quite nicely against certain reels as well and just kind of still has that impact. So I like to use that in combination sometimes when I've got several rows of text uh, on my Instagram reel, I like to use maybe one of those rows in that color. Don't be afraid to experiment with certain colors and in particular look at what colors your Instagram reel has or what are the primary colors that are kind of coming out in it. How can you contrast that with the font and with the text? And that really will make a difference overall in how it looks. All right, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on some trendy text ideas for Instagram. I know it can be difficult sometimes when you've got such a small amount of fonts to choose from and you just wanna vary it up a little bit more and kind of make it look a little bit different. You definitely can do this by using an external editor like Premiere Pro or like DaVinci or whatever you want to use but honestly I think it's not always necessary to do that and if you've got really good phone footage that you want to use that you can easily process through the Instagram editor for reels I'd say go ahead and really just be creative with some of the fonts and feel free to use some of these tips today to make your text and font that little bit more interesting and creative. So guys, if you want me to make some more how-to videos or tips videos like this for Instagram or other social media sites, please let me know in the comments section below. I do like doing these videos because sometimes it's nice to compile all the information that you've learned from a certain social media platform so other people don't have to struggle as much maybe in their pursuit of growing an audience or just developing their feeds in general. So let me know if you wanna see more videos like this one. If you liked this video today, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do, cause I'll be posting a lot more videos in future. But thank you so much for clicking on this video today and I'll see you in the next one.